Hello fellow simmers and welcome to King's Cross. It's Samuel Beeman here of BLS and I'm here to do something a little bit different today. We're going to be reviewing a modern unit. Now it's quite rare for me to do modern era videos. I don't tend to really look at the modern stuff. So why not the change? So this is the recently released DTG Class 700 EMU for Train Simulator 2022 aka Railworks and basically I'm just going to keep this review brief we're going to have a look around the model and just get you know get, get an in-depth look at the general features and how it looks and then we're going to take it for a little drive along the line and just seeing how it drives really and how it sounds obviously as well. So without further ado let's get to looking around the actual unit itself. So here we are, here's the class 700. Now I am really familiar with these units because they are on my local line. So my local line is sort of the Great Northern line that comes through Cambridge and goes down to King's Lynn and obviously the other way is uh, King's Cross. So basically yeah, uh, I am quite familiar with these units. Okay, so first of all, um, I just want to say that, yeah, the texturing is, it's, it's, it's all right. I mean, it's not the best in the world I've ever seen. Uh, the danger warning flashes, they look okay, but they're not high definition. They're a little bit standard, very sort of bland and basic textures. Um, we have the axle profiles lettering there again not the best texturing in the world um and bear in mind my game is on high you know is the textures are high you know the the game is running at pretty much ultra graphics and that's how it looks so it's not it's not great uh bogey detail wise it's 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 all right we've got all the rivets on the um on the uh, on the wheels there and we've also got all the brake rigging as well as the springs as you can see just under there now one of the things i do like about the class 700 is i do like how the you can see the wheels it, it kind of gives you that sort of class 42 warship kind of vibe where it's sort of open to the elements which is i i, I kind of do like on the 700 i must say uh we've got the emergency door release uh, yeah, there again, texturing is pretty poor. Uh, yeah, I must admit, I'm not, oh, I don't really dig this texturing very much. It's not the best. Uh, te the Thameslink logo is crisp, though. That You can read that very well. But like I say, the rest of it is just a bit meh. Um... Okay, it's all very clean down here. It could have been nice to have a little bit of dirt or something coming up. So it's just it's, it's awfully clean, isn't it? But then I suppose they are relatively new, so these units are relatively clean anyway. But to be honest, I don't think any train is that clean on the underframes. But there you go. Front end, we've got nice crisp numbers on the front, which are nice and you can read them pretty well. The warning flashes, again, very pixelated, not great. We do have the springs, either side of the decliner coupling, which is a nice touch. And obviously we do have our lights here. And we're actually going to test those now, so we're going to pause the game and just have a look at the lights. So it will be on the H key. Okay, so that's, I believe that's day running and that's night. Oh, we've got... That, did that go brighter there? I think it did, yeah. Interesting, I can't seem to... Oh, there we are. Okay. Okay, so I can't, I can't get rear-facing lights. Oh, okay, I've got rear-facing... Right, okay, so... Yeah, the lights are a bit glitchy, I must say. Okay, yeah. I'm not too keen on the way the light changes there. It just seems a little bit like... They want to change to whatever they want to change to. This, it, it, it's like they have a mind of their own sort of thing. It, it feels a little bit bugged there. I don't know what that's all about. 
But anyway, um, yeah, so overall, look at the, the modelling is pretty spot on, to be honest. And I think uh, Master Key did the modelling, if I'm not mistaken. I think Geordie of Master Key did the modelling. So you can expect quite a lot of, you know, good stuff with this model because it's done by Geordie. Um, but as I say, the texturing is very uh, bland. It's not the best texturing in the world I've ever seen. So I've got the bicycle emblem there, which is clear. But I'd say it's just the warning stickers are just terrible. It's not exactly the best textures in the world. Uh, however, on the roof, and not, and it's not looking too. Yeah, see, so it's still quite pixelated. But we've got uh, obviously we've got these nice 3D grills here, which are all present and correct as per the prototype. We have pantograph here which isn't up. Is there any other pantographs up? No. Yeah, because this thing I believe can run on both third rail and um, pantograph. So obviously we want to take our pantographs up so we shall make sure that they go up. Are they going to go up, or are we just going to... Okay, so they don't want to go up. Interesting. I don't know why that is, but there you go. The pentagraphs don't want to work. Well, should we open the doors and have a listen to the sounds of the doors opening, anyway? Quite loud. Oh, look, we've got another 700 coming in. Lights are on the side, the lights are working by the looks of it. Yeah, they turn off, okay, fair enough, it's alright. Should we take a look at the passenger view? Let's have a look at the interior views now. So we've got a passenger view. Yep, yeah, that looks very 700. It would have been nice if these worked, because I know they work in real life, but it doesn't look like there's any animation of sort on there. Which is a shame. We've got some geezer there. We'll have one there. Do we have any more views in here? No. Okay. So it's just this view, and you can only turn a certain way. So yeah, quite basic. Um, cab. Cool. This is a bit of limited. I feel really crushed in here. I must admit. Maybe I might need to change my field of view, but. I mean, it's not too bad. Does the window come down? Yeah, it does. We've got win opening windows. None of these buttons work. We've got something else coming in there. Another train of sorts with a horn. AWS reset. Okay. DRA. Power, power mode, emergency brake, headlights, oh. cab light. Oh, we've got a. Oh, that's quite nice. So you've got quite a dim light there, and then you go full, and it's it's a lot brighter. That's quite nice. Reverse, uh, we've got, oh, the master key, that works, that's cool. But, no, it doesn't look like there's a way of, um, it's AC and DC. Ah, you, you switch it to AC and it, it, it makes, oh, that's cool, and then, then the pantographs go up. Okay, I see now, that makes sense. Okay, should we sound the horn? Have a listen to see what it sounds like. Unfortunately, it doesn't loop. That's that's a shame. Does does the lower tone loop? 
Okay, so you've got the lower tone that loops, but the higher one doesn't. That's that's a shame. So I'll listen to it from the outside. Looping is terrible. I quite like the high tone though. Seems relative, a lot louder than the low tone, to be honest. But they are. Yeah, so it's all right. Uh, the looping's terrible on the low tone, but yeah. Need AP to work their magic on this, really. Anyway, um, let's get ourselves moving. So we put the master key in. Yeah, oh, that's already in like that. So step forward. So we don't get any AWS sound for some reason. Okay, fair enough. So, it's a combined brake handle. So, without further ado, I think we've had a look around the model as a whole. Uh, we don't have, well, we don't have any rear tail lights for some reason. Why is that then? Do we have to put them on in the, in the cab or? I guess you would have to put them in the, on in the cab, so... Okay, let me ask. We've got our tail lights on now. That should be working. Fantastic. Right, so off we go then. Departing King's Cross. For some reason... There we are. So I did have the master key not in, didn't I? What the hell? That's not a 700 sound. Um, that's, that's not a class 700 sound. <laughs> what the f... It's got completely the wrong sound set on it. I'm sorry, am I going mad? Guys, can somebody please like confirm this to me in the comments section? Because I'm pretty certain that these are known as a Desiro. And I'm pretty certain that Desiros have that spaceship sounding sound, you know, like the 450s or 444s. But this sounds absolutely nothing like that. Is that recycled Hitachi sounds from the Favisham class? I don't believe this. I can't believe that they've got this wrong. I'm sorry, but that's like putting a a class 40 sound on a class 37 that's just that's just wrong this isn't a class 700 sound
Where's the track rumble? It's just, just, it's, it's so quiet. This is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Right, I've seen enough. I've had enough. Sorry, guys. I've I, I think I've seen enough. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't I don't really know what to say about that. I'm gonna have a look and just check. Um, let's go with yeah a um a seven hundred one for example, a twelve car AC one. We'll go from Stevenage to. Kings Cross fast, okay. So let me just let me just double check this because I want to give it another chance. I want to see like a, a different version. I want to see if if this makes any difference. If there's any difference in the sound between the seven hundred slash zero and seven hundred slash one, okay. Oh, we got the AWS sound that's at that time. It's so one AC mode. Yep, we got our overhead lines up. And we need to make sure our rear cab is has got the tail lights. Yep. Right, let's try this again. Have a listen. This is total shit. I'm sorry guys, this is absolute shit. Uh, I've had enough. I've, I've had it. I've had enough now. That's just ridiculous. I'm sorry guys. I've had enough. That's terrible. Uh, yeah, I hope you like this video and uh, yeah, just my word of advice. Don't buy this. It's, it's shit. Uh, the model's good. Um, Texturing is, well, quite frankly, shite in most places. Um, yeah, uh, horn is crap. Uh, sounds are crap. Uh, the only real decent thing is the model, so you may as well just use this for AI. I mean, there's no point driving it because it's total trash. There's no running sounds. There's pretty much no flange squeal. Yeah, so there's, there's just no immersion in it whatsoever. And it... And it it hasn't even got the right sound. It's, it's, it's completely wrong. Out of all the sounds they could have recycled in their library, they could have at least put the class 450 sounds on it. At least then it would have been somewhat correct. But no. So again, we have another fantastic flop from DTG, guys. Fantastic content. Um, yeah, I am being sarcastic, by the way. So yeah, thank you for watching, guys. This has been Samuel Beeman of BLS. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye for now.